Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Dan. All right, in this video, we're gonna be checking out uh, one of my manga tree. This is the first manga tree I bought when I started my food forest. You know, so right now it's two years in ground. I just wanna show you how it's actually looking and how productive it is after being two years in the ground. All right, let, let's go check that out. All right, let's walk down to the manga tree. Let's go on the, the right side of the manga tree, my right at least. So as you see right here, guys, there's fruits all over. Some of them is actually hanging real low because the tree is so small still. You know, it's only two years in the ground. And this is a curry, curry variety of mango. Yeah, it's related to the julie. So like my Caribbean folks, if you, you know, like julie, this is, uh, variety you could probably get you know the carry similar taste in mango in my opinion yep and, and it's holding a lot of fruits this year last year it hold about like 10 fruits this year like every year it's it's it's, <laughs> it's holding more this year is like it's holding maybe 30 fruits on it this year which next year probably be you know barring there's no freeze or frost to you know affect the tree so it's actually two years in the ground let's go down here yep yeah so you see right here and this tree got affected bad by the the freeze you know like two years in a row but you know so i pruned this tree way back and everything just came back and it's just fruiting amazingly this year i'm so thankful because i love my fruits you know <laughs> yeah fruits is like a really important part of my daily life here yeah? so you know and that's why i have a fruit for a food forest you know because this is just something that has to be part of my food forest especially mangoes let's walk on the left side of the tree and I'll show you what's going on to that side all right let's walk around You know, and I'm so happy that the tree is producing like this. You know, just seeing what we went through in 2022 with the storms and then we had the freeze and all this stuff and this tree wasn't protected. This tree wasn't protected during the, the what's the name? The coal. I just left it and it just did its thing. So, you know, the carrot variety is one of those varieties we pro you definitely have to add the credit right here. This. this was actually hanging on the ground, you know, so I kind of take the branch and lap it over this to take it off the ground. Yep, and as they get heavier, it's probably going to hang a little bit more. Yeah, and as they, this tree is just growing naturally, nothing, nothing. Look around the base. I just mulched this this you know a couple of weeks ago i uh, got this wood mulch here and pour around but normally i just chop and drop yep so this is my curry variety of mango yeah and it's doing amazing yep looking forward to, to these fruits definitely yep let me step back and give you guys a better look so as I said, this is the first fruit tree I planted in ground. Two years in the ground from a you know two gallon you know container and the tree. Once I planted it here, I just left it in nothing else. Just leave it and it just did did everything that it needs to do in nature. You know, nature took care of this tree and now we're having a ton of fruits this year. Yep, so that's it. Just wanted to show you my carry variety of mango you know yep and i say if you're from the caribbean and you like julie carries the next best thing to a julie yep. all right so thank you so much for watching i'll be blessed with peace stuff happiness and kindness one love see you guys in the next video